That might be the last ride for Joel, Diggy and myself. As you can see, Joel and Diggy already racing away. They want to get rid of me. Morning guys and welcome back. It's already 11 a.m. So we are off. Camping spot is cleared up. Sophie already left. She has to fill up her water supply because she has a 20 liter tank of water with her. But now let's get out of here and uh, let's check all the roads ahead. So that's Sophie's car. Yep. Get our bikes here. Ciao. Schön, Ice Cream to have. Oh, yeah, stimmt. Ja, wir sind wieder gewesen. Ja, wir sind schön wieder im Balkan, gell? Das könnte passieren, ja. Das können wir uns da wieder. Like, sieht man sich hier noch? Alright, guys, it's time to head off. Time to ride again. Beautiful weather. Oh, that might be the last ride. For Joel, Diggy and myself for today or maybe for the next months, weeks, years, I don't know. Ah, so let's go down to the southern point here. This is the camping area we stayed in all the way at the dune back there. And uh, now we head to the most southern point. Then I will head back north. I found accommodation already. And uh, these two might try to catch the ferry. Let's see if this works out. That would be the best. Otherwise, they have to backtrack a little bit more north. There are two more ferries up there. Ice Beach. So I usually would stop here to uh, put my drone out of the bag, but uh, not today. Because I have no chance to recharge my batteries anymore. Because if you remember, I forgot my charger and one of my batteries in the guest house in Sweden. Uh, the stuff will wait at Molte, at a friend's place. As well as my tires. So I uh, will include only rare moments from here for the next, I don't know, week or two. We will see. So don't wonder if you will not see so many drone shots here anymore still can squeeze a couple of minutes out here and there but uh, yeah so as you can see Joel and Diggy already racing away. They want to get rid of me. That is clear. Yes, you see? They tell that they are your friends, but oh no, no. <laughs> a lot of drying racks and a beautiful backdrop as always. And a beautiful spot to camp here. Ah, we missed that yesterday. So cool. Wow, ah, my drone, it hurts to look at it, <laughs> I need to stop, stop right now.
That is a perfect house over there. No neighbors, nobody. They're all on the opposite side. I have no idea how they get there because I don't see any road. That is cool. This water is not even blue anymore. It's kind of turquoise. Wow. Stunning. The low hanging clouds over the mountain peaks over there. Can you see that? Uh, wow, 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 Wow! So, tunnel ahead. Let's see. Is this one cold, dark, deep? I don't know. Seems as we're just heading through the mountain here. Let's see how long this thing is, and then I will see you guys on the other side, I guess. I ah, just 1,600 meters. And we are out. Now you can see the mainland on the opposite side. A lot of mountain peaks over there. Ooh, look at the gallery they built here. That is a much better tunnel. You can look outside, there's a little boat out in the water. In the water. Reine Fjorden. Ah, wow. This is where the hike is over there. One of the more famous here. That is just beautiful. There's one more bridge, it seems. Yes, this is Lofoten, as you imagine. The red huts here everywhere, close to the water. Wow. That is crazy beautiful here. So the mountain in front of us is called the Rheinebringen. So this is the mountain range and there's also a ooh, There's also a way up there, but that includes like 1600 steps or something like that. So yeah. Sophie went up there a couple of days ago before we met and she told us it's absolutely worth it and it's better to go by night then there are no tourists and we still have plenty of daylight left so go find true Mexican what there's a Mexican restaurant hmm maybe we have to emerge a little bit more in the Norwegian country and go to a Mexican restaurant right I mean, come on, they even have Taco Fridays. So, what do you expect from me? I just do what everybody else does here. Look, guys. Ooh. That is just stunning. Let's go diving here. I have no snorkeling gear with me. Ah, oh, break, break, break. <laughs> That was close.
พอ Looks like the fish trawler just came back. All right, guys. Left to the tunnel is the trailhead for the Rheinebringen, and we are heading through the tunnel. Still eight kilometers left, and then we will be in uh, a a uh, uh, I don't know something like that. In just the first letter of the alphabet. Make out of it what you want. Next bridge. Ooh, that is a cool bay. Ooh, yes. So, hmm, that is no part of the Rheinebringen Trail here, but there is a shit ton of people here. Wow, that is crazy, crazy, a lot of Finnish and German guys around here. <sighs> Next tunnel, come on guys, I want to enjoy the view here to eh maybe i don't know um so that is the most southern village or city or i don't know what size thing is what size this thing is um but we are most southern point here at the Lofoten Island so yeah let's go all the way to the end there is a parking lot and then we will look out for the local bakery here they have some cinnamon rolls let's go to the local bakery um because here is no space no there would be one it's all parked full here everything is full uh, museum tickets i don't care drive slowly snails around bakery is up there Yup, yup, yup. No parking. No parking. <laughs> no parking. What the shit? <laughs> but, but, but. Exactly. Um, okay. Let's go check out the local bakery. <laughs> In this local bakery over there, you will get some cinnamon buns. There are three of them. This is how they look like. And then we got three coffee and three cola for roughly 40 euros. So uh, yeah, bring your wallet if you want a good cinnamon roll. Well, as you can see, we couldn't wait for you guys for the taste test. Well, they are really good. We are off from A to B maybe i don't know if there even is a bee but hey let's get out of here and now we are heading to the harbor area where the guy want to catch the ferry later that should be just a short hop to the harbor because the next city here is not far away so here's the Rheinebringen from the other side mm, yes just a big rock all right so let's see the ferry is already here but there are a lot of RVs and cars and not many people Let's see if the guys can catch the ferry here. All right, guys, let's see if the boys can catch this ferry. I think we are a little bit too late. And the next one is leaving at six. So let's see if or if not, but I don't think 
that it's still possible. Das ist so traurig. <lacht> Lass uns mal schnell abreißen. Ne? War echt geile Zeit. Sehr geil. All right, so the guys will go on this ferry. They are waiting. They will put them last in, first out then I guess, because they only have one entrance and one exit. It's in the front. And there they go into the belly of the ship. All right, guys, now I'm on my own again. Let's explore this island a little bit more. So let's hop on the bike and get out of here first. And then we will see where we end up today. I already found a little bit of accommodation here. Not far, so it's like an hour. But first I have to get fuel because I'm almost empty. And lunch would be nice. Yeah, this is what I will check out now and then we will go back a little bit and explore some new roads, hopefully. Let's get out of here. So I found a petrol station just nine kilometers from here. Sorry, nine minutes and five kilometers. It's just a little bit back the road, so nothing crazy. And the boys caught the ferry without any issues so it just can show up and get on it it seems at least like but I will find out in a couple of days as well so for now let's go little beautiful church here Moskines um, there's also a campground on the opposite hill we just saw there should be possibilities to camp as well but I need something uh, with Wi-Fi possible a good Wi-Fi so I can upload the next episode to YouTube all the way back here it's by the way only one road that you can go in both directions so this is the e10 and the views are stunning both directions these guys all heading to the trailhead for the Rhine bringen and yeah as i understood their trailhead is right up here so it's crossing right over you can see the people coming down so it's like up here i will check right over the tunnel here we have a little bit more to go 1.7 kilometers still let's go places we never been <laughs> yeah. all right so Rheine this is where we have to go to fuel up let's see also the parking is here this one is closed looks like a new one or maybe it's not I have no idea Wow, this water is crystal clear. That is just absolutely amazing. 
All right, I arrived at the fuel station. Filling up, so the Circle K is one with food and drinks. So I can get maybe some hot dogs or something. And then I will see which accommodation I will book and how far I want to backtrack or if I want to see something else. So you see 330 crowns, that's roughly like 30 euros for 13.4 liters of fuel. It's 95 here, sometimes you get E5 or E10. But it's all fine with this bike, no issues. And now let's find a parking lot. Let's park the bike here. It's good enough for me. And then there is plenty of options. But I think I will get a snack in the Circle K. That is the fastest now. Had to hot dog thingies, they call them wiener here. That was my lunch. A lot of people around, so let's get out of here. Too many tourists, too many Germans especially. Nice! Look at it! Wow! Between shadow and the sun. So, let's not go too fast here. So it should be roughly one hour. Just check the Google Maps. And since it's the main road, the E10 here, there's no other way to go back and forth so when I want to go to the ferry I have to catch the same one as these guys did and yeah I think I will try the same just come here and see if they can fit my bike I'm kind of happy that I have to go back all the way because otherwise I would miss all this greatness here oh this guy let me pass thank you buddy no he doesn't he just stopped to take a picture or whatever but i don't care i will use my chance when i see one <laughs> yeah. wow Ooh. And we are back in Ramberg. So... This is where we have it yesterday. Guys, if you don't have the budget to travel to whole Norway, at least do yourself a favor and come here to the Lofoten Islands. This is just a stunning place. Wow. These colors are amazing. It's so crystal clear. You could spot a fish from up here if there was a big one. And I'm not that blind. Seven kilometers left to Lekness. So there should be one more bridge and then we are there. Nothing too crazy. There's still a bunch of tourists here. Wow, wow, wow. Go full to base camp. What does it mean? A lot of huts down there. Quite sure that is a cool place to stay. 
you know, with a bunch of people. But I don't need all that space. I need internet. First thing is to check in the accommodation. And then figure out the rest for today. What is this? I don't know. Accommodation approaching. It should be... Uh, check in this behind the gift shop. So that is the place I'm staying here. But how to get there? Oh, it's from back there. Or uh, where the hell do I have to go here? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> All right, let me park the bike here for a second and figure out where I have to go. And then I will see you for a little room tour here. All right, guys, so I made it into my room, edited my video, and now it's time to go to bed. It's quarter to 12. So quarter to midnight and yeah, my room looks like a mess, but hey, doesn't matter. I had the chance to do laundry here and had a nice burger here not far away in a good restaurant and now it's time to go to bed. So I am done for today and I see you guys tomorrow on the roads ahead.